What is up YouTube? This is Pack Airsoft. My name is Mason and this is Chris and today for you we'll have our first viewer requested gun review. We had Redneck Gearhead 302 send us a comment a little while ago asking us to review the lovely DMR that used to sit up on this wall. Although you have a slightly strange username, we still like you. All right. So Redneck Gearhead 302, this is for you. Chris, what do we have here? We have the D-Boy slash Boy Eye M16 style DMR. DMR standing for Demonic Monkey Rabbit. Or it can stand for Designated Marksman Rifle. No, that doesn't make any sense. But we'll stick with it. Alright guys, so this is the review of the D-Boy slash Boy Eye M16 style DMR. DMR standing for Designated Marksman Rifle. Designated Marksman Rifle. It's true. Um, this gun has a very, very long outer barrel as well as a very, very long inner barrel. Very cool feature about this gun though is it's funky, funky, but, but cool. Um, I'll, put it, I'll it put it down here so, yeah, I'll put it here so you can see it, but it has a really weird, um, flash hider. It's like a barrel accent flash hider and it also has threads to put on a silencer. I've never seen one that can mount to an airsoft gun like this, but it's pretty cool. Um, it's funky and it's cool. Some may even go and call it groovy. Whoa, that's old school. Um, so we'll start from the front and work our way to the rear. You have the standard flip up M4 sight with the elevation adjustment. Then you have a beautiful 11 inch aluminum rail system. Very Counting nice. the top rail, you have 19 inches of rail space up yeah, here. You got a lot of rail space for Optics, really... Optics, flashlights, I think lasers. on this gun, it's safe to say you could put on anything and everything. I would love... If, if you have a picture of anything tricked out with the rails and the lasers... Yeah, like the, the like, like the e-bike thing. Do uh, yeah. Do it. Let's send see. it to us. But this gun does have the standard M4 features. The non-ambidextrous fire selector magazine release, non-functioning bolt catch. Um, the gun does come with a shorty 150 round high cap magazine, which kind of fits the whole look of this gun as a DMR. Um, has the full stock, non, it, it's a, it's a little disappointing, but it's a, like a non rubberized plastic stock, works well. Um, it has a door in the back, so this gun can fit pretty much any battery that you will ever have. Is this LiPo ready? It is not LiPo ready. It is not LiPo ready. As Sorry, most guns that we will review are not LiPo ready. But the one thing that I wanted to point out on this gun is it's uh, ergonomic pistol grip. Uh, lefties on M4s, you're kind of already, you know, not doing so good. But on this gun, you, you couldn't even grab it because it has this little thumb protrusion, which prevents a lefty from grabbing it or from you gra a righty grabbing it in the lefty's shooting stance. However, for righties, it is very, very comfortable. It's not that rubberized texture that you're normally going to find these kind of pistol grips with. It's it's nice. It matches the stock. It is nice. It does match the stock. It's the same material. Uh, if you've seen our AGM M4 review, uh, this is a, it's a rubberized. This is the non-rubberized version. Uh, I forgot to mention that this gun does have a full metal body full metal body so it does make this a little bit heavy how much does this weigh chris this gun weighs 10 pounds right now 10 pounds right now that is without the battery that is without the bbs although the bbs don't really add but i assume the battery will because it yes. can fit a humongo 9.6 like a 36 or a 4,000 milliamp hour indeed although i do notice that this it is a non-functioning bolt catch however what it, what is different about it, this it one? it's uh, it's unusual i've never seen it before it flips out and clicks so uh, on a real m4 when you are empty the this will s be stuck in the rear position and your bolt catch will be out very far and this gun clicks into place like that it's kind of cool correct we do have a functioning bolt with the the, the um the dust cover uh, and it does have the standard m4 wheel hop up that is not the original hop up this gun is not mine i am repairing it for a friend of mine and I had to replace a hop up so you will get the standard D-Boys hop up. Not that one. Not that one. Disappointment. 
Now, clearly, this is not a CQB weapon. We hope not, and we hope that you're not that guy that has to downgrade the spring and bring all his fancy schmancy field weapons into CQB. Chris, how hot is this shooting? About 400 FPS. And that's right out of the box? Right out of the box. All right, 400 FPS. Clearly a lot <laughs> hotter than most <laughs> CQB fields will allow. However, a milsim field or an outdoor op this would be perfect for it. Chris, what is the effective range? I would say from 210 to 250 feet. All right, 250 feet, that's right around some of your sniper effective ranges. Yeah, it's going to be an effective, it's, it's effective range at 250 feet would be in full auto. You're not going to be a sniper uh, with this. You're not going to, it's not like the L96, you're going to be a full auto sniper. You could, however, throw a nice little scope on here. I would recommend that, especially if you're playing in a very wide open field. Maybe take your sniper scope, put it on here. You know what, and even maybe if you're usually a sniper, maybe you're carrying around like the MK96 kind of thing, but maybe sometimes you have a tendency to get bored and go run and gun. Best of both worlds right here. You can go in semi Best of and both worlds. pick people off. Um, then maybe go into some action, take off your scope and use some full auto action in here. Chris, do you know how fast the babies are coming out of here? Like Not too the, fast. The Not BPM. too fast. I would say BPM. I don't know what the real BPM, from my experience, I would say that this gun is shooting no more than 15. 15 BPS. So, decent. Pretty, pretty slow, though. Eh, decent. I've seen worse, but, you know, you're not going to be pumping out full auto the entire time. This is definitely a long-range weapon. Yeah, and the one thing that I might add from a almost tech standpoint, um, this gun is really, I would say, is a, is a good platform to build from if you got... The gearbox is fairly solid. I would say if you got uh, maybe a Sistema high torque, JG high torque, you got some helical gears, type or barrel, this would be a very effective weapon. Um, Talking about the barrel, Chris, how long is the inner barrel? On the side? inner barrel is actually, it comes out to here, it's about 18 to 20 inches long. That's a or long there, or thereabouts, it is very long. Um, that's about it for this gun, really. It's full metal. Great building platform. Great, it's it's a good gun out of the box. I'm liking it. Um, we'll have to see if we can play with it. Mm -hmm. Again, this is this is not ours. This was a gun that we were repairing. Um, is it repaired yet? Kind of. It's partially repaired. Almost. All right. On its way. So unfortunately, you will probably not be seeing any gameplay footage with this guy. However, speaking of gameplay, we will be uploading some CQB uh, gameplay and. In March, March 11th, we will be attending uh, Flashpoint 3, which is a big outdoor op, which we're hoping to get a ton of footage from there. So wait around and check out our channel. Yep. If you're going, let us know. If you're going, let us know. If you live in the East Coast area and you've heard of Flashpoint and you're going on March 11th, look us up and we will see you there. Yep. But anyway, to wrap this up, any other little last points to add? Nope. Good gun. Go check it out. Uh, it also has two sling points, sling mounting. In which I, yeah, which I mentioned. Oh, you On the rear. Mention. I wasn't paying attention. I might have. I'm not sure. He's not sure. But there are two. One's right here, and one's right here. You'll see them later. Mm -hmm. Check out our montage. Rate, comment, subscribe, send us messages. If you would like to see a certain gun reviewed, let us know. If you want to see any kind of little tips and tricks, questions, gun mechanical questions for him and for me, we'll be able to either answer it or point you in the right direction. This is Chris. My name is Mason. We're Pack Airsoft, and we're signing off.